I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast. But before we get into the reports, just want to remind you that we are just over one week away from the 2015 Greenbow Challenge Grand Prize Drawing of a brand new Cobia 201cc as well as many more great prizes taking place live next Saturday, January 9th at 1 p.m. at the New York Boat Show. The official list of finalists has been posted at thefisherman.com. Hopefully you made the final cut and I'll see you there next week. Now moving on into the reports, we're going to start in Connecticut as always, where the herring bite in the western sound is still going strong, but the striper bite is garnering the majority of local attention and will likely be the case until we see some safe ice form across the state. While I haven't heard of any really big striped bass being landed lately, there are good numbers of schoolies and the occasional 10 to maybe 15 pound fish being caught. I even snuck out myself on Christmas night after my son went to sleep and I plugged up about 10 fish on a small Yosuri crystal minnow, re-rigged with the single inline hooks in place of the trebles to do less damage on the fish. The fish were out front, not up in the rivers like a lot of the guys are targeting right now, so don't be afraid to expand your range as much of the usual winter hot spots see a lot of pressure this time of year. One more really interesting item uh, about that outing, I ran into some massive schools of adult bunker just milling around on the surf. There were literally schools upon schools of bunker moving past my location with fish at times circling around me for a few hundred feet in every direction at times. It was crazy. Couldn't believe it was taking place based on the date of the calendar. Then moving on into Rhode Island, uh, fantastic fishing continues to take place around Block Island right now for cod. And on a recent outing, Captain Tony of Booked Off Charters put his clients into a boat limit of 80 fish up to 20 pounds, with 15 of those fish between 12 and 20 pounds. He plans to keep sailing into January as long as this bite and weather holds up, so give him a call as soon as possible to get in the action. Likewise, the Francis Fleet and 7Bs are doing really well around the island and will be sailing all winter long. Then lastly, moving up, on up into Massachusetts, Captain Eric of the Goose Hummock Shop hasn't really heard of anyone getting out recently scouting for tuna with the somewhat poor weather they've seen up that way, but it does sound like there is still plenty of bait around, so you just never know what might be lurking out there. However, on the freshwater side of things, shroud are tops due to the slowly cooling weather and the heavy fall stocking across the state. There's a good bite on both rainbows and browns being reported from the Cape by the guys of the Goose Hummock, on the North Shore, according to Pete at Fishing Fanatics, and on out to mold home turf in western Massachusetts. We should be slowly approaching ice on some small protected water body bodies out west, but it's going to be a little bit while still before anything safe enough to drill into a hole is located, so please don't head on to that ice yet. So there you have it, I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, which you tight lines on the water and a happy new year. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.